Hi, my name is Ruben. I'll be guiding you through a brief tutorial on how to use the Real Estate Flyer templates that you just downloaded right now. Now these templates are really, really, really easy to use. We created a, a series of four custom made flyer templates for Real Estate Masters. Now we have a one photo Real Estate Flyer template, a four photo, a five photo, and also a bonus luxury Real Estate Masters flyer that you can use freely on your computers on all your listings that you have. Now it's really simple. Um, as you download the files, you'll see them just like this. They're opened up in their PDF documents. You can come up to your um, your window and you can actually hit thumbnail here by selecting this little view screen or you can view um, and then select thumbnail and you'll be able to actually see a thumbnail preview of the flyers here so you can see what they kind of look like. Now for uh, this demonstration purpose we're going to use the one photo uh, real estate master flyer template. We're going to double click it or you can right click with your mouse open with open with Adobe Reader. Make sure you use Adobe Reader. It's the best way to use it. It's the fastest way to use it. Now Adobe Reader is totally free. You should have it on your machines. If not, we provided the download link for you on the download page. Just go ahead and go to the bottom and, and select uh, download the free Adobe Reader. It takes a few minutes. Totally free from Adobe, trusted source. Um, we all use Adobe PDF and Adobe Readers for you know all of our real estate transactions. So it should be a common um, platform for you and it works on both Mac and PC. Now the flyers open up in Adobe Reader just like this. Now just from the looks of it, it looks great. Everything's preloaded for you. The beauty of these flyers is that they are fully editable flyers. Now they're super easy to use. Um, you just point and click and you can adjust you know anything and everything on the flyer itself. So let's start from the very beginning here. Now all the data is loaded for you, like I said, and this is just easier for you to kind of see and you know um, manipulate. So all you have to do is just change the data that's in each field. Now this is what we'll do. Um, if you wanted to know which fields are editable, just come up here to the upper right cor corner. It says uh, highlight fields. Select this, and what will happen is that your editable fields will highlight in like a light blue. Now these are all the text areas that you can highlight. Let's say for instance we have a listing that we just got and we need to create a flyer for it. So this is how to do it. Now we need to change this photo obviously because this is not the main photo, this is not the photo of our listing. Simply drag your mouse right over the photo, we'll say main photo right there, click it with your mouse. It'll open up a dialog prompt, a window saying hey select an image file. Now find the image file of your photo or of your property, and it's simple. I'll just choose this one here. Um, select this one, and it'll automatically load your photo inside of the photo box. Now you don't have to edit it, adjust it, or manipulate it in any way. It would automatically load in there, but just make sure that you're using the la a landscape photo that's like of uh, a standard size with a digital camera should fit. Now all the programming is already done for you so you don't have to touch it or don't have to do anything. The next thing we'll do is we're going to come down right here. Let me zoom in. We'll go right here under here. This is our headline and we can adjust this to whatever you want to put. If you want to say, you know, uh, beautiful Grand Richardson open house, we can do that. Open house you can adjust it just go ahead and type away if you want to you know put something else like um, main street estate for sale um, main street estate short sale you know just reduced Whatever you'd like, you can type in whatever you'd like in here. Now you're given a certain space, but you can fit pretty much any headline in there. The next thing we'll do is we'll come over here to this bottom field. Let me open up these highlights here. As you can see, you can come over here and we can adjust the address. So you can type in whatever address you need. Um, Main Street, Newport Beach if you like and then over here on the right hand side is your offered price now you can you know put in whatever your offered price is just go ahead and type away 
Now, as you can see here, right below um, your headline, your price, and your address is your property description. And this is where you just go ahead and type right into it and let us know exactly describe your property. So you can describe it, make sure you add, you know, property highlights, the features, upgrades, you know, uh, the type of landscaping, the neighborhood, the community, um, you know, what entertainment's around, school districts, all that stuff. You can just go ahead and write in the property description. Um, below that would be an area for your contact information. I'm going to turn this off for a second. Um, your photo will fit right here. All you have to do is click it, find your photo, let's choose Amy, and then Amy will be automatically loaded into the spot, into place, and you don't have to edit it. You just load in your photo. Again, use a standard profile photo. It should just automatically work. Now, changing your name is simple. Highlight change your name to Ruben Doe and I am a broker you have all this space back here so if you wanted to add MBA you can um, and then your uh, address and your contact information is below now we added enough lines to have seven different fields so you can type in the address you can take this out whatever you'd like to do um, email and make sure you have your website on there and that is pretty much it. When you're all finished, just go ahead and zoom out just by using these little icons up here. You can use this plus or minus. Zoom out, check out your flyers, you know, make sure they look really nice. Uh, the next thing you'd want to do is probably print. Just come up here, go to font, scroll down to print. A print dialog box will open. A preview will show up on the right hand side you select your printer up here which you know if you're at your office it'll you know select your office printer and then um, here is the important thing come over here to page scaling shrink to printable area now that is very important select this make sure it's selected it's usually selected uh, by default but you want to make sure that shrink to printable area is selected on your flyers that way your prints will print on standard eight and a half by eleven paper 100 percent of the time every time and you don't have to hassle with it so they'll just print right on your computer which is totally great once you're done hit ok and you're good to go and it will print and just go to your printer and you'll see that they're in full resolution um, high 300 dpi quality so these again these are these are made um, to the specs of magazine quality um, settings so again you can send these too if you'd like to uh, to your uh, to your favorite print shop and the way you do that is you come here hit file come here save as and you can save this as any file but I would I would want to say this make sure you save these master templates in a different file um, reason because is that you don't want to come back and go to the download page and re-download them again. Keep these on your on your um, like on a hard drive. Keep it on a flash drive. Keep the originals. That way you can always change it. But if you want to, you can come over here and then you know name this 56 Main Street Court Listing, just like that, and it'll save as a PDF and just hit save. And there you go. Your flyer is saved as a PDF. You can come back to it by just closing here. There it is right there. We'll go ahead and double click that. And it'll open up in uh, Adobe Reader for you with all of the content that you just put in there. Here it comes. There you go. See? Now, one of the cool things about this is that with this file right here you can you know use it as a normal file you can send it via email send it to your printer send it to a colleague send it to um, your network database uh, post it online it's a PDF document you can have it downloaded um, whatever you'd like to do or you can come over here and hit file and attach to email and once you do this it's going to open up your um, your desktop emailing um, provider whether it be if you use Outlook, it will open up Outlook and automatically attach the uh, file that you just created right now onto an email. And if you do, is just type in your contact your uh, contacts information, and it will email it out to whoever you need 
but it's really, really simple. These flyers are set up, so they're very basic. They're very easy. Uh, the other flyers that you'll see here, which are the four photo and five photo, have the same exact content concept. If you see uh, the photo, just click it, and it'll change it. You can change all the content in there, change your photo. Um, there are a little bit more features in the four photo and five photo, meaning that we have areas for bullet points if you'd like using those. And it's just for the simple fact that there's more photos that you can add. Uh, there's also the luxury bonus that we added here, which automatically has a logo for you. And um, that's really simple and easy to use too. Well, that concludes our um, tutorial. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, we left our email address at the bottom for service and support if you have any troubles opening or using the flyers. Um, we also have on the screen um, links to resources uh, as far as like short video tips and tutorials on how to use the flyers and the flyer templates. Thank you for watching.